Hey there math enthusiast! Welcome to my channel, Teacher Reg. Today, we're going to talk about adding two digits by one digit with and without regrouping. Before that, let's see this. We have two numbers, the 2 and 22. The 2 is only a digit. It is also called as once, while the 22 is two digits. It has tens and ones. The 2 on the left side is called tens, while the 2 on the right side is called ones. Awesome, right? Math is really interesting. Now, let us learn about adding two digits by one digit with regrouping. We have here an example, 15 plus 5. We are going to use the long method of addition. In this example, how many ones do we have? That is correct. We have two ones. The number 5 in the number 15 and the number 5 itself. To add 15 and 5, first, we have to add the ones, which are 5 and 5. To understand this clearly, we have here Rubik's Cubes. As you can see, we only have one Rubik's Cube in our tens column, while in our ones column, we have five Rubik's Cubes at the upper part, while we also have five Rubik's Cubes in the lower part. It is because our ones are five and five. Now children, let's count all the Rubik's Cubes in ones column. One, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then 5 plus 5 equals 10. The number 10 has two digits, the 1 and 0. So we put the 0 aligned to the 1s, which is under the 5. While we are going to carry the 1 over the 1, which is the tens. Next, let us add the tens. One plus the carry one, that is two. Therefore, the sum of 15 and five is 20. Let's have another example. 18 plus four. Just like what we have done earlier, we are going to add first the ones. In this example, our ones are 8 and 4. 8 plus 4 equals, let's count the box in the ones column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then, 8 plus 4 is 12. We know that 12 has two digits. It means it has tens and ones. So, we are going to put the 2 aligned with the ones digits, which is under the 4. Then, we are going to carry the 1 over the tens, which is 1. Then, now let us add the tens. 1 plus the carry 1 equals 2. So the sum of 18 plus 4 is 22. Well done children! Now you try this. Very good! 26 plus 7 equals 33. Alright! Let's proceed in learning adding without regrouping. Adding without regrouping is somewhat simpler than adding with regrouping. For example, 14 plus 3. We are still going to use the long method of addition to align the 1's digits and the 10's digits. As you can see in our 10's column, we have one notebook and in our ones column, we have four notebooks at the upper part and three notebooks 
at the lower part. It is because our ones are 4 and 3. Now let's add 4 plus 3 equals, let's count the notebooks in the ones column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 4 plus 3 equals 7. Good job! Next, let's add the tens. In this example, we only have one tens. So, we just bring it down beside the 7. Therefore, the sum of 14 plus 3 equals 17. You are all doing great! Now, let's take a look for our next example. 12 plus 3 equals, let's count the ball in the ones column. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the answer is 5. We bring down the 1, therefore, the sum of 12 and 3 is 15. Great! Now, you try this. Very good! The sum of 16 plus 3 is 19. Wow! You are truly a math rangers! Okay, get ready for our quiz time! We have a timer for this quiz, so when you hear this sound, that means your time is up! Good luck, children! Good job! That was amazing! Thank you for learning addition with me. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please subscribe now so you can be updated on my new videos. See ya! Happy learning!